And here we are at the Hilton at Daytona on the beach for the truck driving championships for Florida. Probably put some, post something on that. That uh, thing up there is a historic stage that they have right here on the beach. Been there for years. And this clock tower has been here for years. Pretty neat. Hilton. It's an older hotel, but it's okay. Pretty good shape. Got a suite here. Um, yeah, right on the ocean. Pretty neat. So here we are at the Truck Diving Championships down here in Florida. Staying at the Hilton. Like I said that earlier, out on the beach here. Here's the UPS uh, <laughs> flame flame covered van here and then they have a Walmart safety truck and then I didn't know that uh, Florida Highway Patrol had them a semi it's kind of cool I don't know what they uh, do with it maybe tow command centers or all around stuff that's kind of neat but uh, yeah so they got a little display set up out here outside the convention center or across the what we call it, ocean center across the street this is where they have the event going on yeah so a little display here in daytona kind of quiet this morning a bunch of people in the building behind me yep. Here we are inside the event. We got a little NASCAR race car here. Somebody already going around the course here. Okay. It's all indoors. This is kind of nice. The five backs of the division. Contestant 503, Fred Slayer with Public Supermarkets. Fred resides in Kissimmee, Florida. This is his rookie year competing. He resides in Kissimmee, like I said, with his partner, Iran. He has been 22 years in the industry. And you can see, one, see what's going on around here. It's pretty cool. And all 22 years, accident free. Again, this is his rookie year competing. Contestant 503 from Public Supermarkets, Fred Slater. All right, let's see what else is going on here in a little bit. Part of this uh, other side of the show here. Angel Rivera, back up to this dock thing. Take to hit all these marks just right. These awards include his five-year safe driver award for the FedEx. I would have told got a little FedEx setup in here too. For six years, have been in the industry for 13 years. He's accumulated one million in eight miles. 14 years accident free. Yeah. 
supposed to beep his horn when he backed up. I think he got zero on that. He got flag. No, red flag. Yeah, he got zero points on that one. Because he didn't beep his horn and he hit the dock, I think. Little video out the window of a hotel here. Storm over there in the distance. The beach is jumping. People running everywhere. On the, there's a that was a boardwalk down there. It's a concrete pathway now down there where the guys walking the dog. And that was wood, and now it's concrete. And with a, a new railing and all that, because a tornado or a hurricane <laughs> had messed it up. But it's pretty neat. A bunch of people kind of ebbs and flows. You'll see a ton of people, then you'll see a little handful, then you'll see a ton. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And way down there you got a, you know, your beach patrol guy going down through there with his light on, keeping an eye on everybody. Still can drive on Daytona Beach. It's kind of neat that you get to do that. They haven't uh, taken away that freedom yet. They're strict on it. They'll keep an eye on you. You can't go fast and you can't do anything too crazy. Yep. Little line down here at this little um, drink stand, I think. It's got all kinds of little cool drinks. It's like a little bar area. It's jumping. people running all over it's pretty cool a little storm cell moving through you see that lightning once in a while and then a big stroke of thunder there's a shrimp boat out way out there Yep, Daytona Beach, Hilton at Daytona Beach, historic area. This big stone thing is really neat. People everywhere. It's having a good time. It's 90 degrees. And the place is jumping. All right, see you later. This year, we had some very close wars. This is the banquet at the awards dinner for Ford Truck King, uh, to Truck Driver Championships. It's pretty elaborate, about 1,500 people here. here. We just wanted to give you recognition for really being tight in your scores. For the small team, in third place was Yellow, Yellow Frank. Please give him a round of applause. Cool. Second place, small team, FedEx Express. Congratulations. <laughs> so now we're going to That's it, Florida Truck Driving Championship. So out here in Daytona Beach at night, cool thunderstorm off in the distance. This place is rocking. There's a whole bunch of people walking up that boardwalk down there. This little place down here was jumping a minute ago. And then a uh, live band up there, and then they're going to have fireworks here in a little bit. Kind of cool. Hilton, Daytona. Kind of neat because you'll see a big uh, lightning and uh, thunder out in the, over the water here. Pretty neat. Wrapping up the evening um, from the uh, Truck Driver Championships down here in Daytona. And then uh, head back in the morning, back up to Atlanta. But yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. It's a neat, neat little area of Daytona, you know, happening. These two historic structures, this clock tower, and then that amphitheater made out of coal. Really cool. They've been surviving hurricanes and everything else down here with these things. So yeah, it's pretty cool.
too little. It may not focus very well. Thanks a lot. Bye. Good night.